Okay, guys, let's get started. The second phase of this lecture is the trading lecture is today's market analysis for the next week. Again, I with the pairs I'm looking for, I'm interested, I'll be precisely looking on those pairs only uh, to keep it uh, brief and precise. Uh, quickly looking at the dollar index first. Apologies, my some reason. Uh, dollar index first, guys. My markup's gone for some reason. Here we are, the dollar index rejected at resistance. And that's where you are on the dollar index. Now, I, what I'm expecting, uh, last week we were expecting the price to reject from there and it did reject it traces and we had a nice trading opportunity on the euro usd most of the usd crosses gave you the buying opportunity facing weaknesses in the dollar so the best approach is if the dollar is on the resistance you're expecting the price to reject either support or resistance look at the cross which is on the support level that's a best a best possibility the best approach is now gbp usd was under the support below the support level wasn't a good buying opportunity, but as you look at your USD, it was a better buying opportunity. Uh, next week, this week, what I'm looking at, shooting star, inside bar, another shooting star formation. I am expecting retracement on this. Guys, I am expecting retracement on this. So I will be expecting retracement on this, which is, apologies guys, I didn't have the markups. So where the retracement can be, I'm thinking price can go higher. This is what my expectation is. So I am still expecting retracement. As long as the price fails to break the high of this, any retracement to the upside, I will not consider that as buying opportunity. I'll wait for it, look for the selling opportunity. Yes, if the price breaks that resistance level at 98.20, yes, of course, everything changes. We will come back to reevaluate. Remember, it's retracement trade I'm talking about. Exact retracement as the price retraces earlier from here all the way to this. I'm expecting the price double top formation, hopefully rejected, similar move to the downside. Uh, please confirm you guys understand this, all of you. So that's what I'm expecting on the dollar index. Whilst looking at this, I will be looking for buying opportunities on any of the USD pairs. Again, your USD looks pretty good. Last Friday, we bought your USD. Look, right at support where the dollar index was, was right on resistance, it went higher. Now, weekly looks pretty decent as far as rejections are concerned. One, rejections are concerned, nice rejections. Uh, it's got the pin bars formations. Uh, I am expecting the price, guys. Well, I am expecting that as long this holds, as long this holds, I am expecting the price to retrace further, retrace further to the upside. That's what my expectation is. Again, again, let me say this, counter trend trades, the counter trend trades against the trend. No harm in it, no harm in trading them from the daily perspective. Absolutely. Let's have a look on the daily chart. Apologies, I've got some H4 levels. I'm not including any H4 levels or the breakdown. The reason is I strictly want to stick to the trading plan and let me say this h4 is a breakdown it has nothing to do with your trading plan here we are so unless the price breaks this you are in a bearish market structure you're in a bearish market so price can go here and makes another move to the downside so these are retracement levels price retraces to 38.2 my expectation is that the price will retrace to these levels that's my expectation is i'm expecting this again let's keep it neat and clean so what do i expect this the, the way i'm expecting dollar to retrace first towards resistance here usd i'm expecting retrace towards support level 
dollar rejects against a gain at resistance and makes and go to the downside, Euro USD reject at support and go to the upside. That's what my analysis is. Am I playing this resist, uh, retracement? As I said on dollar index, I'm not interested. Similarly, I am absolutely not interested in selling this. I will wait for, if the retracement takes place, I'll be just waiting for, looking for the buying opportunity on this. With these candlesticks, morning star formation in play, these wicks on the weekly charts, I don't like to trade a counter trend trade. That's my rule, guys. I've been saying this to students. Even if it goes to the downside, breaks and go to the downside, 300 pip, let it be. That wasn't my trading opportunity. My trade would have been then, once it breaches, then yes, I'm waiting for this. We test look for the trading opportunity. So please respect the rule of the levels. Please confirm everybody understands, right? You're one of the pairs I'm looking at at the moment. Really interesting. The second quick one. Successful analysis last week. As I said, look for buying opportunities on gold and gold nearly went 230 pips higher when most of the people were selling it. Now, I'm not going into detail on this much, but let's quickly crack on to the weekly chart. Very promising, huge one, two, three pin bars formations that event price has a breakout to the upside. What I'm expecting now is price to retrace goes higher. That's what, well, that's what my expectation is. Let's have a look on the daily. That's where you are on the daily charts. That's what my analysis is. So guys, here you are. Let's give me a sec. So again, on the daily, I will be look retracement. So on this, personally, if you are a new trader, you've never been profitable, look to trade with the, with the, with the momentum, or trend, trendy momentum for the particular week. It's a bearish market overall, but the momentum is to the upside. Again, last week, all I did was waited for the buying opportunity and just took a trade. I didn't took a sell trade at all yet last week. Simple. This week, again, my advice to you guys, you new traders, look retracement. Look for buying opportunities. It can be a deeper retracement. Still look for buying opportunity. Now, guys, it's entirely up to you to look for this retracement trades as well. You can play these retracement counter trend trades as well, guys. You can. It's totally your choice. Here, you have the potential for the price to retrace. It wasn't on your USD. So even if the price retraces to these levels, it's 180 pips here. So yes, you can look for retracement if it's presented, but then don't miss the buying move, major move. Don't just miss out saying that I was retrace, in the retracement trade, hence I missed it. So if you think you can, focus on the main move which you are anticipating during the week. That's where you should be focusing on that. Please confirm you guys understand this. Guys, you can have a selling opportunity to begin the week. Later on in the week, I'm expecting the price to go higher. Please confirm everyone understands, all of you. Yeah. Yes. Successful analysis on this, uh, US 30. If you look on the YouTube videos previously, we've been talking about selling this since the price is there. I, uh, I will rest on this this week and let, let this formalize and, and develop on this USD CAD here. I am still bearish on USD CAD, guys. Still, I'm looking for a counter trend trade, which I was looking last week, end of the week. Just to begin my week, I said, look for selling, buying opportunities. The rest of the week, I was expecting the price to retrace to the downside. Look, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it never gave me an opportunity. Again, seeing this, if the price, if the price remains in this and rejects and fails to break the high, guys, I'm expecting this first move retracement. So yes, counter trend trade. It's a counter trend trade, guys. It's a risky trade. Just remember, 
counter trend trades are riskier but yes there is a possibility if the price rejects that's that is my trading plan so i will be looking for trading this counter trend first then the trade with the trend if you are a new trader don't have experience guys wait for a counter trend trade to complete first then look for the trading opportunities you can't trade both directions at the same time if you've never done it before one direction successfully forget this forget this so please focus on one and finally guys to conclude the session i need to go actually conclude the session i am interested in this i remember we've been selling this right from this from from the start if you guys remember very much interested in this because the price is sitting on a significant monthly level i will look for counter trend opportunities if the price finds support here i will be looking for this counter trend not sure if it how it plays out it's an aggressive trade it just prices a weekly candlestick is pretty bearish on this this has been the range on the monthly on the weekly so if the price finds support here i will be looking for a counter trend opportunities for the price to make a low high formation to take a sell trade to the downside in the long run again guys if you're not been profitable trader if you never had an experience of trading both directions stick to one direction my strong advice is stick to one pair and trade that pair properly that's what my advice is follow that pair it's not about trading it's about following that pair so you can pick your usd to trade with you can pick gold to trade very good trading setups on them i think your usd crosses have decent trading setups on them uh, usd cad looks pretty promising so you can pick your one setup and learn the development of the price action not just it's not about just you trading them it's about price action build up towards that trading and that's what really matters so that's it guys apologies for reduce cutting this uh, lecture short i need to go um we'll, so i'll see you guys tomorrow in the training session during the day on phase 1 so i'll see you guys there and the next session on execution is on wednesday so make sure guys you watch my recording again on execution what i talked about try to think what you've been doing and what i've said try to apply for the notches and play with it and see if you understand if you understand them if you feel confidence right but again in after the next le lecture you will have the real confidence as to because you'll see the build up starting shaping up on the charts and that's where it all begins So guys thank you very much guys you have a lot to practice on phase 1 practice phase 1 practice up till i explain as far as execution is concerned very important training this month to so make sure you are all present there thank you i'll speak to you guys later thank you bro thank you